When running Toy Build, there is one aspect you cannot live without. Toys. And this weekly, they're few and far between, making Toy Build quite difficult to pull off. However, when you get lucky and you get really good Toy Build cooking, it is a ton of fun. Also, we'll be running our next live stream this Saturday at 9 a.m. Central. We'll be on YouTube this time based on the votes from the community poll. I hope to see you all there. It's going to be a lot of fun. I like the fish. Straight up. Let's beaver this. This bee. Some panicking computers. Hear about quantum computing? You're like, dude, it's over. <laughs> it's all over. And then, hold on to you. Don't even need you. Heck yes. Uh, definitely not going for level 3 beaver. That seems ambitious. Just like, the worst possible snipes. <laughs> possible. 1 in 5 to lose and we just get sauced. Alright. Um, start me out with a level. We could throw in an ox. I think we might as well. Roll me once. Hercules Beetle seems okay. What if we just throw you in? Just to exist for a second. Just to be there, you know? Sometimes it's all you need. Okay, so I'm starting to think that the mosquito is a snipe magnet. Or the basilisk is a snipe magnet, I should say. The only thing that, that could explain what's going on right now. Go here, roll me. You know, straight up run a snail, don't, don't mind. getting a giant ox here. <laughs> this feels like a bad idea, but we're doing it. Joke's on you, the basilisk can't take me out now. Alright, we managed to not lose one, so that's a good start. Get rid of you. I don't need a fried shrimp, really. Level you. Early caterpillar might be enough to do it. Maybe. We'll see. I was fully expecting both mosquito hits to hit our, <laughs> our ox. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Um, we can give you a health potion. That seems good. Yeah, I mean, none of that looks even remotely interesting. We could throw a kangaroo behind the ox, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Doesn't seem great. Um, and straight up, let's just roll. Get a Hercules beetle cooking. I think that's our best bet. Good stuff, love it. All right, we're on the up and up now. We've reached the, hopefully, the depths of our despair. Crocodile. I like it. I am a fan. And then... If Kraken went before Crocodile, maybe? But that's, that's a good amount of attack to try to overcome. Let's not get too ambitious here. Uh, let's just keep rolling, I guess. We could do a pineapple on you, I suppose. Just give you a 1-1, one, one effectively. Big hits. Now, is this enough? I guess. Depends on your definition of enough, but... <laughs> my definition, I guess, yeah, sure. We'll call it that. Roll me. Once we get a Hercules beetle, we can level up and then sell. That'd be pretty nice. Nothing really here I'm looking for. We'll take the level up at least. 
Eagle seems good. Axolotl on the Ox is kind of cool. We could try that. Yeah, I mean, straight up, let's, let's try it. Ooh. <laughs> that sounded pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I, I guess we're just rolling. There's the beetle. That's huge. Maybe we'll get some crocodiles now next turn. Why is... Uh, why is our ox in the front? Anybody have any clue whatsoever? Because I don't. Okay, so we're going to sell you. Now you're huge-ish. Then we go lionfish, maybe? <laughs> maybe? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Right? Could be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, not really feeling... We could go a lynx, maybe. How much is that gonna deal? Our next turn will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight damage once. Only gonna get better. I'll consider it. I like it. I mean, okay. <laughs> if you insist. I guess we could do that. Love it. Just casually fleeced out a 2-2. From the axolotl because he gave us honey. Ooh, and we got the toy set up. <laughs> oh, baby. All right, let's try it. I'm down to give this a shot. Obviously, we're going flashlight here. And then we go Lynx. Double up on our Puma. Yeah, I think this is good. I like where we're at right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to put in an Octopus here. I just don't know if that's going to be the, the vibe. What the heck just happened? Everyone just died. Alright, get rid of you. Level you. That's tempting. Who would we get rid of for an octopus? Because, I mean, that octopus would go off. That's probably the way to get up past three wins. Is it the caterpillar? Even doing anything? He is three levels, so he's kind of holding our links up. And you're dealing eight damage to one guy. Alright, full send. Let's do this. YOLO, as some people would say. Alright. I I love being at two hearts. Gives us a little bit of leeway here. And now we need to find another toy. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. I mean, straight up, that's just fantastic. What if this just gets us there? That one toy pivot? I mean, I'm not saying it is, but I'm not saying it ain't either. <laughs> you know? This is looking pretty good. And then there's the toy. Who are we getting rid of? I mean, okay, straight up Caterpillar, what the heck is he doing? Is he even good? Is he better than Ox? I don't think so. Flashlight, hold on to you. Okay. Back to the yes right now, okay. This is fantastic. Now we're looking for, I don't really know what, actually. A 
Is this enough? Enough to draw. Sometimes it's all you need. Okay. We getting rid of the ox? It seems a little ambitious, I will have to admit. Um, but maybe that's, maybe that's how legends are made, you know? That's how we do it. Uh, let's keep rolling here. See what we can find. Give him a pineapple. Why not? We can deal eight damage to three guys every time we attack. Plus the tiger. Okay, plenty of, we'll say a healthy amount of snipage going on here. Now you're basically 50-50. Let's get another toy cooking. That looks good. And then, yeah, I don't think Donut's going to override the flashlight going on the front guy. We'll probably just end up putting it on somebody. They're switching up the order a little bit. Maybe put the Puma in front. Maybe the Lynx, who knows. Maybe another octopus. That seems excessive. There's a lynx. Huge. Alright, so we definitely need to find a, a stingray coming up here. That's for sure. And we draw. Okay, we go here. Roll me. I think we're just looking for Stingray, looking for Lynx, looking for Tiger to any of those would be fantastic. That counts. Go here and then, I mean, let's throw you in the front. I like the idea of, well, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Just get a big old Lynx cooking. I am pleased with my pivot. <laughs> oh, I love it. You know, I look like I know what I'm doing, even if I don't. Go here. Let's roll. Try to get a stingray cooking again. Come on. Chocolate doesn't count. I mean, I'll do this. Man, that's tough. That's very tough. Maybe we don't do the Puma? Right, because like straight up, I think the Stingray is more important. The Puma's not doing anything without the Stingray, let's put it that way. Okay. Unfortunate snipage by the... Uh, the, what is that guy called? Scorpion. That's his name. Stingray me. Come on. There he is. Love it. Okay. Is this going to be enough? I mean, there's been a lot of, a lot of Scorps. I think we might want to keep the links in front. There's a lot of drawing going on. We're on turn 19 already. This is getting ridiculous. Um, okay. I mean, Stingray is probably not going to be proccing again after this guy's over. So I think we do... I think we do this. This might be insane, by the way. Um... So this, I don't think the Puma triggering counts as another break, as far as Mosasaurus is concerned. Um, and maybe a lionfish up front, actually. I think that makes a lot of sense. Get our tiger to level 3, and that's basically where we're sitting. Now what is... 
I don't understand the purpose of the tiger in this situation. I genuinely am not sure what he's supposed to be doing. Okay, well, we have a giant lionfish now, so that's always nice. And I think we're just looking for the tiger. I mean, I'll give you a pineapple. I don't know why you don't have one already. Um, so you deal three damage three times. Not bad. I'll give you a pineapple too if we don't find a tiger. <laughs> this is like a mega snipe compilation or something. Now, hear me out. I think this makes more sense. There's so many snipes here, I think the tiger's getting sauce before he's actually being used. Okay. We did not just win by one. <laughs> he did exactly 48 damage to this guy. That is criminal. Alright. You could throw a cockatrice in there. I don't know what, what to put for this pit, uh, puma. Deal deal six damage. Three, six, nine, eleven. Plus two, that's thirteen times two. You can deal an extra thirteen damage, or you can deal an extra. Oh, just this five times 315. Oh. The math seems to suggest. Assuming I'm not doing math horribly wrong, I think this makes more sense. Alright, full send. And I think we're good. We're drawing. We drew. Okay. We're like half good. Straight up. We do this. And we do this. I mean, ultimately, we just need to find some way to not draw. Whatever that is, <laughs> we need to find it and employ that. Okay, good. We took some guys out. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> We're just chilling here. I should have kept the stingray. I didn't think it was going to be this long. Okay. And I'd like a tiger here. That counts. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure where else to put these guys. We could try the octopus further up. Like here, I guess. Maybe he'll do a little more. I definitely want to keep this guy up here. I think we're okay. <laughs> we actually did it. What the heck? Turn 23. That is absurd. Okay, well, apparently we could have maxed out everybody at that rate. We could add toy build cooking for ages. Alright, I don't think I've actually bought Alchemides a single time this weekly. So we're gonna try them out. Some Danish muffins. Maybe we're missing out on something, you know? It's always possible. Albeit maybe unlikely. <laughs> we'll see. I like this. I'm gonna say we go Pigeon here. I'm not a huge fan of a level 3 beaver. I mean, what's he really doing for us, right? Because you get level 3, but then you're really just stuck there trying to, you know, do we sell it? Do we not sell it? <laughs> right? Like, the whole point is that you can sell him. Alright, roll me a little bit. We gotta start pivoting. I mean, we can try a salamander. Get the Alchemedes a little bigger. Hmm. Basilisk is start of battle. Maybe we try it out. 
what if this is like really good you know okay i mean it's not really bad at least we did get a win level me early hatching chick is great maybe get rid of the spider here in that case Basilisk for the Salamander is... Wait. How did the Salamander already get his trigger? I'm confused. I must not be paying attention here. Ooh, yes please. Um, we go here, and we go here. Oh baby. It's happening. I mean, I feel like we gotta go blowfish, right? Maybe not, though. I, we go blowfish all the time. Maybe we switch it up. It's too easy to just spam blowfish over and over, you know? Maybe we get a little creative this time. Fantastic. What are the odds we can just ride to the end with this that up here, you know? I feel like it's possible. Yes, yeah, kinda ugly. Um, ooh, sure, sure. I don't think we're keeping the salamander forever. I do like getting another foo dog though. Okay. That works. He sniped our stone maker and then just made it another guy into stone. <laughs> so, I mean, sure. We'll take it. Start of battle. I mean, the Kraken probably is worse for our team than the enemy. Let's say thanks, but no thanks. And maybe we do like a whale shark. It's probably better than Alchemedes. Right. You'd have to imagine that it is. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Hatching chick is huge here. Okay. They're switching us up again, but it does not matter this time. That's one of the things I dislike about <laughs> getting the Basilisk. It feels like he just gets kind of, you know, if he gets shuffled, you're, you're in for a rough little rest of the turn, I think. Okay. I think I still like buffing the whale shark. He's the only one I know that we're keeping around. I guess we could probably assume we're keeping the eagle, but, you know, you know what they say about assuming. Huge level here. I mean, high key, if we can get toy build going, I would full send that so hard. Okay, get rid of the salamander, throw in a second eagle. I don't want to start running pumas yet until we actually have a toy to work with. There's a toy. Okay. Full sending pumas incoming. Ouch. Oh, 5-5 five, five versus 4-4. Four, four. He, had, he had no shot. He was stuck. Okay, I like this. Grab a flashlight, throw this on you. Do we ever get rid of Foo Dog here for somebody? Like a cow, maybe? Cow is 2-4, you're 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's not very good. We'll just freeze some stuff. Bro, let your let your octopus go, brother. Come on. Give him a shot. Oh, okay, we found Puma. This is huge. 
All right, Foo Dog can go now. And I think we're gonna run it like this, get our eagle huge. And then, yeah, we can just go like that. And then I say we just roll and try to find another Stingray. That's, that's too much sauce, I can't. If we're full sending this toy build, we gotta keep these Stingrays coming. It is of utmost importance. Hmm, unfortunate. I thought we almost had a shot because their their blowfish was only level one, but even then, it was not gonna happen. Okay, go here. We gotta find a stingray. The perils of running a, a toy build. There are no stingrays to be found. Okay, I think we're all right here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Stingray me. What do you got? Come on. Give me a stingray. Let's just hold on to you. Hold on to you as well. Dude, you're killing me. <laughs> I need a stingray. Oh man, this is getting a little precarious. If I do say so myself. It's an interesting strategy, I'll give it to you. If his octopus wasn't level one, I think he would have won that. Like, high key. So. We eventually found our, our Stingray. We're on nine wins though, so like, what are we really doing? I guess I'll go here. If we lose this, we'll get a level two toy. It's all right. Okay. He's got the hatching chick strategy as well. So we start here, grab a flashlight, go here. I think we throw it on the Puma. Um, full send on you. You're gonna give 24-24 on whoever we set up front. That's pretty good. Oh, dude, that health potion actually got it for him? This guy's insane. Okay. So who do we want to scale up here? Probably you. Maybe we try getting the Puma cooking. Come on. There it is, just in time. Alright, so next turn, Puma's basically gonna be maxed out. Assuming we lose this one, which I'm hoping we do, weirdly enough. Oh yeah, dude, it's over. <laughs> Look at all these snipes. Okay, so now our Puma's huge. Enormous. Maybe we don't even do this, right? Maybe we try to find an eagle. Eagle me, huge. And then what if we just throw like a, throw a stake on you? Toss you up front, call it a day. Toy build is a struggle, trying to get toys at all. But maybe we get it here. We did it. <laughs> we, we quite literally just limped over the finish line there. But we did get a Puma almost 50-50 in a single turn. That's kind of cool too. I think... I think Hatching Egg might be the MVP of this this whole weekly.